All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And uh, today it's probably going to be the first of quite a few in quick succession cloud water reviews because I did a little bit of a, an order with uh, my good friend Maisie Beers and we split a cloud water order, we split a marble order. So expect uh, quite a bit of Mancunian content. He says that and he's got about five or six videos already waiting to be released, you know what I mean. So yeah, cloud water, rain on ancient keys, which is a Strata and Simcoe IPA at 6% ABV. No blurb on this one. I uh, can't really make out the dating on it. But there we are. I don't know, I was just in proper hankering for a bit of a cloud water. I'd initially thought, oh, do you know what? I'll treat myself to a zip up cloud water hoodie. And then I thought, oh, I can't really just drop 50 quid right now on a hoodie. And I don't know why I'm shaking. Um, if it's undiagnosed, you don't know about it. So, beer in the glass then. And that's really nice and hazy. Orangey, lemon, golden. Just shy of two fingers worth of a white foamy head. Let's see what we get on the nose. Definitely get like stone fruit. A little bit of grapefruit creeping in. Gentle sweetness. Slight tropical notes. There is like the subtlest hint of almost coconut. It smells really, really nice. There's something like slightly spicy about it. Like I use this like note a lot, but mango chutney, like slightly spiced mango chutney. But it smells absolutely ridiculously nice. So uh, let's get it drank. Cheers, folks. Don't know what that movement was. Cheers. Mm. Ever dependable cloud water IPA. That's basically what you're getting with this. You know the way specific breweries have a specific flavor but at the same time you wouldn't be able to put it into words what makes it so specific to that brewery it's just this is what i imagine a card water beer to taste like review over with um no he'll drag it out a little bit longer and he needs to stop referring to himself in third person There's like a slight minty freshness to it, like mint leaf. Dare I say slight menthol character without it tasting really like menthol. Just lining up all the perfect like flavour notes. <coughs> Getting a baseball bat and just absolutely smashing a lot of them. Gentle bitterness on the back end, but not too much. But at the same time, not really overly sweet. Yeah, it's like a, it's an IPA that you've tasted probably countless times before. Um, but obviously that completely goes against the point. Of, well, yeah, it definitely tastes like a cloud water beer. Because, you know, if it was like that, every beer would taste like a cloud water beer. You, you know what I mean? It's just me trying to diversify how I describe pale beers, and I just fail completely. But if you want a really nice, slightly sweet, slightly tropical, little bit of lime coming in as well. Very pleasant at 6% ABV. Very gentle bitterness on the back end. You know, jobs are good. One of those sorts of beers where you look at the, the list in the tap room, you try it, and you think, I could have another two thirds of that. That's the sort of vibe I'm getting from this. And it is very, very, very nice. It's not like a flavour sensation, you know, it's not like a hyped up release. 
There's no one key strong overwhelming flavour. It's just really well rounded. Lovely body for its ABV. And just Cloudwater doing what Cloudwater do best. Although I would say their stamp game is terrific. And of course, even though I was gutted that they didn't have any Hellas on the web shop, I'm not sure if they've stopped brewing that. I got myself a can of Piccadilly Pilsner. But Cloudwater really know how to brew lagers as well. Um, probably just at the time of me putting the order through, but there was a nice selection there. The guest beer's pretty damn good. Some nice American stuff. Um, I was very tempted by one of the Trillium uh, sour beers, but I thought, steady on. Um, wait till you, you know, you've not got a massive expense coming up. Um, but I just need to get more, like, bottle share beers to put away because it's very very limited as to what i have but anyway you don't need to hear about that but highly recommended if you've tried it let me know your thoughts opinions down below not too sure what the name is in reference to um whether it's got something to do with the architectural photography that is somewhat coming synonymous with uh cloud waters branding nearly said the t-word that fellow mancunian brewery um but yeah it works well lovely stuff it's cloud water what do you expect anyway if you tried it let me know your thoughts opinions down below links as always to cloud water my untapped blah 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 no one's interested and uh yeah thank you for watching you all take care stay safe and i shall hopefully see you next time bye